New Actico 2C is a latex-free two-component leg ulcer treatment kit, which has been developed with your patients in mind. The Actico 2C kit consists of Layer 1, a skin-friendly comfort layer that is applied directly to the skin to distribute the compression evenly. Layer 2, an inelastic cohesive compression layer for effective therapeutic compression. Prior to bandaging, the patient should have a full holistic assessment. Cleanse the limb and debride the wound bed as required. An appropriate choice of dressing should be applied to the wound. Please refer to your local guidelines. Measure the ankle circumference to determine which size Actico 2C kit is to be used. The comfort layer provides graduated compression and helps protect vulnerable areas. Ensure the comfort layer is applied with the integrated fabric skin protection layer against the skin. The foam layer should be on the outside. Use extra padding on vulnerable areas as required. Check that the foot is correctly positioned toes to nose. With tension, secure the comfort layer with two turns at the base of the toes. With a longer foot, an extra turn midfoot may be required. Enclose ankle and heel with the figure of eight. Continue to spiral the comfort layer up the limb with sufficient tension to conform the bandage using a 50% overlap, finishing two centimeters below the popliteal fossa. Cut off excess bandage and tape. Check all vulnerable areas are fully protected following application of the comfort layer. For ankle circumferences between 25 and 32 centimeters, you will have two rolls of the comfort layer within the larger kit. Please ensure you use the 10 centimeter by 3.5 meter comfort roll first. Recheck before applying the compression layer that the foot is correctly positioned, toes to nose, to maximize ankle movement. Hold the Actico 2C compression layer with tension and apply two turns from the base of the toes. Roll the Actico 2C compression layer across the dorsum of the foot, keeping at tension. With a longer foot, an extra turn midfoot may be required. Enclose the ankle and heel with a figure of eight. Start to spiral up the leg smoothly using the lock and roll method, 50% overlap at full stretch. When smoothly rolling the Actico 2C compression layer around the back of the leg, keep the roll close to the limb and locked out at full stretch. Continue with the lock and roll method up the limb in a spiral. Finish the compression layer three centimeters below the popliteal fossa. Cut off any excess bandage and tape. Ensure layers are bonded by running fingers lightly over bandage edge. For larger ankle circumferences measuring 25 to 32 centimeters, apply a second Actico 2C compression layer in the opposite direction starting from the ankle. Secure with two turns with tension over the ankle. On the third turn, follow the lock and roll method. Finish the compression layer three centimeters below the popliteal fossa. Cut off any excess bandage and tape. Ensure layers are bonded by running fingers lightly over bandage edges. It is important to consider compression for the other limb when patients have venous disease. Compression stockings, once measured for, can be fitted to the other limb. Following application, if the patient shows sign of pain, reduced color, or numbness on their extremities distal to the bandage, then it should be removed immediately. <laughs>